Hamjambo, jina langu ni Abdul Karim. Welcome to this Swahili lesson. In this lesson, we will learn words of love in Swahili. Let's get started. Moja, nina kupenda. Nina kupenda. I love you. When saying this word, nina kupenda, don't say, nina kupenda. Nina... Say to the affection, nina kupenda. Nina kupenda. I love you. Mbili, wewe ni wangu. Wewe ni wangu. You are mine. Wewe ni wangu. Tatu, nina kukosa sana. Nina kukosa sana. I miss you a lot. I miss you a lot. You say, nina kukosa sana. You can as well say, nina kukumbuka sana, which is also means, I miss you a lot. The word, nina kukumbuka, has two meanings. The first meaning is, I remember you. The next meaning is, I miss you. Nina kukumbuka sana. I miss you a lot. Nne, nipo nawe. Nipo nawe. I am with you. Nipo nawe. Tano. Wewe ni mzuri sana. Wewe ni mzuri sana. You are very beautiful. Wewe ni mzuri sana. I want to clarify the word mzuri. Mzuri, it's describing a person. Okay? This word, in most mainland area, it is commonly used to imply good in term of character. You know, when you say mtu mzuri, it means... Uh, it means a, a good person, you know, like he is kind, she is kind, you know, she's doing good things. Then I can say mtu mzuri, okay? However, in coastal area, this word mzuri is commonly used to imply beautiful or handsome, you know, either beautiful or handsome. If you watch many movies, many clips on TikTok and everywhere, uh, the people are showing their lives. Then you can hear someone say, uh, mke wangu ni mzuri, or my wife is beautiful, or nili oa, mke mzuri, I married a beautiful wife, like this, you know? Or just someone meets you, and he or she describe you as mzuri, but you haven't uh, stayed together, but the person is saying, wewe ni mzuri, okay? So it means you are beautiful or you are handsome. Yeah, same, same. This word there, it also means good in terms of character, but mostly it's used to mean beautiful or handsome. We also have words, specific words, to mean beautiful, like a beautiful girl, a beautiful lady. You say, uh, mrembo. Mrembo describes this person as beautiful, mrembo. And the word handsome, we say, mtana shati. Mtana shati. Mtana shati. Okay? Handsome. Let's continue. Sita. Nisamehe tafadhali. Nisamehe tafadhali. Forgive me, please. Yeah, you say this word if you forgot to call your girlfriend or your wife or you forgot to do something for him or her. Say, nisamehe tafadhali. Forgive me, please. Saba. Wewe. Ni furaha yangu. Wewe ni furaha yangu. You are my happiness. Wewe ni furaha yangu. Nane. Natamani kukuona. Natamani kukuona. Yeah, maybe you are talking on call. Uh, it's voice call. And you want, you wish to see this person. Okay. Tell the person, natamani kukuona. You know, we have nataka kukuona. I want to see, but that's not romantic. You just say, natamani kukuona. You can use the word mpenzi wangu. My lover, my dear, my baby. You say, mpenzi wangu. Natamani kukuona mpenzi wangu. I wish to see you, my baby, my dear. Sawa? Tisa. Napenda tabasamu lako. Napenda tabasamu lako. 
When you say this word napenda tabasamu lako, your wife, your husband will, you know, will keep smiling at you, not like uh, in just he or she will like smiling yani whenever he sees you or whenever she sees you she will smile or he will smile sawa so, napenda tabasamu lako i like your smile sawa so, lastly we have kumi kipenzi cha roho yangu kipenzi cha roho yangu you might be wondering why there is this word kipenzi why don't we say mpenzi Kipenzi is more affectionate, you know, like it's more romantic to say kipenzi changu than mpenzi wangu. So you say kipenzi, any someone who needs care, someone who is like fragile, you know, you say kipenzi. Kipenzi cha roho yangu. The love of my heart. Sawa? But if I say it's someone who is fragile, it doesn't mean that this person cannot stand for themselves, but Again, this word kipenzi is more romantic and when you want to say mpenzi wangu and using the word kipenzi, you don't say kipenzi wangu, you say kipenzi changu. Kipenzi changu. Huyu ni kipenzi changu. Okay? Huyu ni kipenzi cha roho yangu. This is the love of my heart. Kipenzi cha roho yangu. Okay? Ba it's mostly uh, it's less common this word kipenzi most people just say mpenzi mpenzi lava sawa kwa heri tutaonana baadaye don't forget to tell your wife your husband nakupenda sana nakupenda sana our online swahili course is starting on 4th december 2023 so few days from now registration is closing on 30th november so if you'd like to join this course for beginners and intermediates kindly click on the link in the description section so that you can enroll for this course it's three months and it's for beginners and intermediates okay so if you would like to improve your swahili or you want to start learning swahili properly then don't forget to click in the link you can as well send me a message on my WhatsApp number down there so that I can, if you have any question, just send me a message on my WhatsApp. The number is there. Then I will clarify anything to you.